introduce me, but I'll tell you again. I'm Brian Jones. I'm a candidate for House Legislative District 45. I'm here to ask for your support. I really need your help, and I really need your vote. Um, I'm running for the state legislature uh, because this is not the main that um, Anya and I chose to study in, make a home in, and raise our family in 35 years ago. I mean, something has gone fundamentally wrong in this state, and I'm running for the legislature to put, legislature to put my shoulder to the wheel to get me back in the right direction. Um, in the past two years, Maine has created fewer jobs per capita than any other state in the nation. Now, quite frankly, I don't think it's a coincidence that the last two years the legislature has, has changed, uh, changed party and changed leadership. Um, it's pretty obvious to me that what we're doing in Augusta is not working, and I'm at least going to become one vote to help change that. Um, Anybody interested in taking a bet at 20 to 1 odds? 20 to 1. You, you bet a dollar, and the payout is $20, that if you go in the state house and you look at the paper in the photocopier, it's going to say made in China, not made in Maine. Okay? Uh, I can't give you the same odds on the flag on the flagpole, but my guess is that flag is not made in Maine. You know? Uh, I want to see main companies repairing roads and repairing bridges, you know? I want to see our fort. Now remember, if your land is in tree growth, you, you receive a tax advantage from the state of Maine. We as a state, as a community, can reasonably expect, in my opinion, that that, that timber be harvested by main companies and processed <coughs> by main workers, not shipped overseas to China or to Canada. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. I want to go to the grocery store. I mean, I want to go down to Edwards or Troy General or Freedom General, and I want to turn over a can or, or a, a piece of produce or a, a, a vegetables or a piece of meat that says grown, produce, uh, grown, processed, and packaged in the state of Maine. That trickle down does not work. Yeah. Okay. The way to build this economy is to create aggregate demand, and the way to create, create aggregate demand is to put money in the hands of the people that will spend it in our lo with our local businesses. Okay. Now, All right. yes, sir. Yeah. Now let, let me footnote that, because here's what you're going to hear. I can't believe I'm doing this extemporaneously. <laughs> <laughs> must be a really friendly crowd. <laughs> Here's what you're going to hear. You're going to hear, hey, the governor and the legislature cut $300 million in taxes. Okay? Is that a good thing? Yeah, nobody likes to pay taxes. Okay? However, this is how this plays out. If you're a guy out of high school, and forget about the fact that uh, you just lost any access to main care for 18 or 19 years old, and you're making 10 bucks an hour in an entry-level job, what this tax cut means to you is a nickel a day. Okay? Fast forward to someone making $350,000, what this means in a tax break for you is $7.50 a day. Now, the myth of putting money in the hands of the job creators is nothing more than that. It's a myth. It's, it, it's funny how you hear the rhetoric about redistribution of wealth. Let me tell you something. What this legislature did is redistribute the wealth of the state of Maine through regressive tax policies. Okay? Oh, glad I get that off my chest. <laughs> okay. Well said, though. Right. Well said. Now, uh, Am I firing you up? Because that's the job here. Okay. Look, I'm a former high school teacher. I'm a former high school pre uh, uh, principal. I teach a couple classes at Unity. I teach a couple classes at Austin. And you know what? I do know the value of education to the individual, uh, to our community, to society, and I hate to say it, of course, the economy. Um, however, as a selectman, I do know this that cuts to education at the state level merely transfer these costs to property owners. Okay? Now, 
sad three, regardless of what you think about the new school, regardless of what you think about teacher salaries, regardless of what you think about, they've had a flat budget for the past three years. They're spending the same amount of money that they did two years ago. This third budget that we'll vote on on Tuesday. Because the state has funded education less than last year, the, the citizens of SAD 3 are looking at raising $465,000 more dollars. Okay? Now, for Unity, and I'd have to, I'd have to, I don't have my notes with you, for Unity, that's a 6 or 7% increase in your school assessment. Since the school assessment is roughly half of your, uh, your tax commitment, you're looking at your property taxes going up by 3 or 4%. <coughs> and the property tax is not progressive. If I'm elected to the legislature, I will introduce legislation to compel the state to fund public education at 55% of the EPS model like the voters told it to do at referendum in 2004. You can't escape the will of the people, and this legislature, legislature has been doing that. Yeah.